Urban Pirate Ale review. Um, okay, the reason for this is because I finally had my cataract surgery. Um, which was about how long ago now? About six or seven hours ago, something like that. It's evening now, anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, it all went pretty well. Uh, the surgeon did accidentally scratch uh, the side of my eyeball, uh, which means it's in a little bit of pain at the moment. So, I had a couple of painkillers. Um, it's nothing major, anyway, it's only a tiny little thing. And um, I'll get to take it off tomorrow and get to check it out and see how well it is. Um, so you'd have to excuse it just for the one, for the odd, you know, review or two. Um, the beer I'm going to be reviewing today is one that was given to me by James Poulter, who also gave me some home brews when he came down to Plymouth and saw me. Uh, it's from a brewery that's uh, local to him, but apparently they don't really have a website or anything like that, so, which is uh, very similar to the uh, Gargoyle Brewery. Um, I think they make some lovely beers, they're from Dawlish in Cornwall, um, or Devon is it? can't remember. Um, but they make lovely, lovely beers and they're so un really unheard of. Um, anyway, this brewery is, let's have a look, we bins on for me eyeball. I still need reading glasses by the way. Um, the Loose Cannon Brewery and it's their Loose Cannon Pale. There you go. Loose Cannon Pale. And it comes in at 3.7%, so very, very sessionable ABV. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be like a British pale, but let's have a look. God, I look like something from Chernobyl. Um, in 2010, Loose Cannon brought brewing back to the historic town of Abingdon in Oxfordshire, famous for its beers for centuries. Brewed using only natural malted, bar malted barleys, hops, yeast, and of course, the local water. Loose Cannon Pale is the brewery's second full-time beer. A light first quenching beer with a satisfying bit of finish. The perfect way to relax after a hard day's work. And uh, they've got, they have, oh, well, I don't know, they've got a website. It's www.lcbeers.co.uk. Okay. But I've never heard of them. And I'll have to try local brews. God, this thing's really annoying me. I really want to take it off, but I can't because you know, it's against the medical law. Um, all right. Let's get this going. Yeah, James, really nice bloke. I've mentioned him in the homebrew review that I've done. Um, really sound bloke. He was down in Plymouth uh, in regards to his job. I think he's an architect. And um, he's also a homebrewer. I mean, I've only reviewed one of his brews so far, and it was bloody gorgeous. It was very similar to the um, Williams Brother in the Lake. The reason I looked over there is because I still got a bottle on the wall. Um, brilliant, lovely, lovely barley wine. So anyway, let's try this out. The Loose Cannon Pale. As you can see by the colour, it uh, looks like your typical sort of pale ale, almost like a lager. Uh, tiny little white head. Uh, very mellow carbonation, as you can see, it's sort of very slightly sort of coming up the glass. Let's give it a sniff. Try not to get any of this in it. Yeah, getting some light sort of biscuity uh, sweetness. Almost like a sweet green fruit, like a gooseberry, um, gooseberry green gauge, that sort of uh, smell. A tiny slight bitterness on the nose, not too much. It smells really nice, it just smells like a really nice sort of light English uh, ale. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Cheers mate. Cheers to Stu. Good, good stuff. Hmm, that is really refreshing. Oh, what's that remind me of? Sorry. I'm trying to remember. That's it. The Rudgate Viking Better. Um, Really clean and crisp, nice, um, slightly earthy, slightly earthy notes. Uh, nice sort of goldeny, biscuity sort of notes as well coming through. Nice golden uh, syrupy sweetness, not overly sweet. 
nice and clean and crisp. Really, really crisp. Nice dry finish as well. Not overly bitter, but you know, just nice and refreshing and and good. This is really nice. Mmm, that is really, really good. Gorgeous sessionable beer. Um, nice and smooth, easy drinking. Exactly. This is the sort of beer that I love to love to discover because it's the sort of beer that you'd want in your fridge, um, and that's essentially what that was all about. It's nice to have the big, strong imperial stouts and the barley wines and all that sort of business. And you find a lot of the founders. I love that. It's probably my favourite beer ever, the Backwards Bastard. But I couldn't have six of them in a fridge because it would just ruin me. Um, and I, I just think it would sort of like I don't know. You probably get a bit sick of it because it's quite extreme, the flavours. This is the sort of beer you can have about six in the fridge and just really, really enjoy them. Very crisp, very clean, just lovely, gorgeous. Great stuff, eight out of 10. <coughs> Pardon me. Really nice, I do like a nice low ABV beer as well because I don't always want to get hammered and, um, and that's one to look for. The Loose Cannon, give it a go. So, thanks very much for watching and um, I'll see you guys again soon. No, we're walking our review. Cheers.